Shalom. Want to give all the praise, all the glory, all the honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kadash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles, the great millstone for teaching me the truth. Also, one at Kalashal Akim, who are pushing the truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. This is uh, Galatians uh, 1 and 1. This is, it's a letter of Paul, the apostle to the Galatians, okay? Where the Israelites were uh, dwelling in Galatia, okay? That's who, that's who this letter is for, the Israelites who were dwelling in Galatia, not the heathen that were dwelling in Galatia. Verse, uh, verse 1. Paul, an apostle, not of men, neither by men, but by Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, and the Most High, the Father who raised him from the dead. Right. So he, now was Paul dead? No, he was, he was, uh, he was alive. He was raised from the dead because he got the understanding. You know, the, the, the dead are the ones who are slack, the the, uh, the ones who are away, uh, who get life, are the ones who receive this truth, this knowledge, okay, you're quickened in your spirit, you got the quick and the dead, right, verse 2, and all the, and all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Galatia, you see what I'm saying, it's to the brethren, all the brethren who are with me, he didn't say all the people in Galatia, he specifically said his brethren, Verse 3, grace be to you and peace from the Most High, the Father, and from our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil world, according to the will of the Most High and our Father. All right, that's the, it's Yahweh's will is to deliver us. That's why he gave us Yahweh Shai. Verse 5, to whom be glory forever and ever, so be it. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Hamashiach unto another gospel. Which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Hamashiach. Yahushai. So, he's saying... You know, he's saying there's only one doctrine, right? Because this is a, not another gospel. There's only one gospel. There's only one truth, right? But you got people that trouble us. And they try to say that, oh, everybody's got their own truth. Everybody's got their own beliefs. Everybody's got this and that. But the scripture speaks about there's only one gospel, okay? Okay. And there's only one truth, man. That's just common sense. There's only, there's, there's no. You can only find one truth in 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 uh, in truth, right? Anything else, anything aside from the truth, it goes into a, a lie. All right. So the ones who pervert the gospel, when they start perverting the gospel, like these pagan Christians, really any religion outside of uh, the Hebrew light uh, doctrine of GMS. Really, I say that specifically because a lot of these other camps go off. Yes, you could be an Israelite and and have a camp and go off. All right, the the the, the hundred percent truth that the election obtains. It starts out with the the elders of GMS, and through faith we sincerely believe that. All right, and through the Spirit also. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you that, than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. All right? So even the angel, if the angel came preaching another gospel, then hey, that, that angel's going to be accursed. That, you know, men who teach the wrong gospel, who don't teach the truth, who don't teach Yahweh Bashim Yoshai, you're, you're accursed. You see? Verse 9. 
as we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. And he's talking to the brethren who've received this knowledge, right? He's not talking to the the hypocrites, the heathen, the two-thirds that were in Galatia that didn't believe. He's not telling them because what? Because why? They, they didn't receive it. If you don't receive this knowledge, you know, you're not going to know when you're not going to have a spirit of discernment. But if you receive this truth, this tr knowledge, then you're going to have a spirit of discernment. You're going to know who's cursed and who's blessed through the spirit. Verse 10, for do I now persuade men or the most high, or do I seek to please men? For if yet for if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Hamashiach. Right. Yeah, you can't you can't please uh, you can't please men and please the most high, right? The men who are in the truth, who are receiving this knowledge, we please Yahweh Bashem Yahashai. Our prayers are are a, a savor a smell to him. You know, uh, our, our, um, um, you know, we're, we're his delight, according to the scripture. The ones who love this knowledge, who love his, his truth, are, that's who he's dealing with. Right? Let's get this precept real quick in the apocrypha. Let me, let me find it. It says, I think it's, uh. See if I can get this verse. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. Wisdom of Solomon. Seven and twenty-eight. At the middle, uh, at the middle of your screen in verse twenty-eight says, "For the Most High loveth none, but him that dwelleth with wisdom." All right. So he only loves, he cares about the ones who have wisdom. He doesn't care about you, idiots who are out there. Uh, just you think your intentions are good enough. You think just because. You have youth in your mind. You think you have good intentions, so he's going to receive you. You know, oh, you're out there preaching God and Jesus Christ, and you think Yahweh Bashem Yahshai going to receive you. You know, because oh, they know my intention. No, that's not what it is. You lack wisdom. If you had wisdom, then he's gonna he's gonna dwell with you. But if you're pushing another doctrine, like because like like we read earlier, if any man teach you another doctrine, which um, God and Jesus Christ that belongs to another doctrine that belongs to pagan Christianity so he's not going to dwell with, with with you because you have no wisdom and you're and you're preaching another doctrine all right um, let's see I was going to grab another precept and it slipped my mind all right I'll go back to Galatians Galatians 1 and 11 it says but I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. Let's look up that word certify. All right, let's see. <coughs> certify. All right, this is what it means. Let's get it in the right context in that verse. <laughs> All right, it's opening up. All right, let's see. Certify. Oh, 
Well, let's play it in the in the Greek. Strong's G eleven oh seven. Norizo. 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 That's certified. All right. And here's here's what. It, let's get a deeper definition. We know it's certified means right, but let's let's. Oh shit! It's still freezing up. Okay. To make known, to become known, to be recognized, to know, to gain knowledge, of have, to have through thorough knowledge of. of. All right. To certify, that means we have thorough knowledge. All right. Let's read that again. Verse eleven at the top of your screen. But I certify you, brethren. But I certify you, brethren, <coughs> that the gospel which was preached of me is not of me, after man. So certify means to have thorough knowledge. Right? So the ones who are receiving this true knowledge, guess what? We have thorough knowledge. That's why the Spirit's, you know, the Spirit's dealing with us. Whenever we deal with other people outside of the knowledge that will that contend us or come against us, well, guess what? They get cut up because they don't have the thorough knowledge, right? They have a portion or, or you know, they have a, 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 a twisted, perverted uh, doctrine because they've been taught twisted, perverted things. They haven't been taught the, the truth, you see? Um, verse 12. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Alright? Then that's what it was. Yahweh Shai taught Paul. Right? Taught the, he taught the disciples. 13. For ye have heard of my conversation in time past in the Jews' religion, which is us. That's what we would call us of the Hebrew Israelite religion it says how that beyond measure I pers persecuted the church of the Most High and wasted it you see because Paul was he was uh, he you know he was well versed in in uh, in in, uh, in Rome you know he was a high he was he had a high status in Rome and he was actually in cahoots with the Romans and the uh, you know and the um, he was basically like a you know a Christian, a pagan Christian, until he came into this truth, right? Because he did persecute. He was persecuting the 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 wake the awakening that was happening in in the in the in the old world, right? With Yahweh Shai, he he was persecuting the, the disciples, persecuting the men, the apostles. Remember, he he was uh, he was. He was part of uh, when they were when they were uh, stoning St Stephen in Acts verse seven. Um, Paul was one of the onlookers, right? He was he was part of that persecution. When you look into the you know you, you go into the history of Paul. Let's keep reading. Fourteen and profited in the Jews' religion. Above many equals in my own nation, being more exceedingly zealous of the traditions of my fathers. So, because he, when you come into this knowledge of truth, guess what? You become more passionate because he was in that old, you know, pagan uh, Christianity bullshit. But when he came into the truth, guess what? He was more passionate, just like us. We, we always had the spirit to, to receive the truth. We always wanted to receive the truth. We were always seeking the truth, even when we didn't know we were being taught lies. But then when we when we actually crossed the truth, when we were, you know, we came across the knowledge, well, guess what? We became way more passionate. Because why? Because now we were just getting the te taught in the real deal. We were just getting the tradition of our fathers, not the traditions of these Edomites which they give you, or these other heathen nations, which they teach you their traditions, their customs. But when we come across the knowledge and the truth, guess what? We're more passionate. Because why? Because it's, come on, look at it. Look at what it is, what it is. 
the truth is interesting when it, when you're being taught, you know, the, the, the real thing. You know, that's why so many of our people, the Israelites, they fall out. They lose it. They, they, they become disenchanted. Because why? Because they, like, their spirit's not resonating with the bullshit. You know, even even without knowing the truth, your spirit knows the truth. So that's why you, you fall out of those Christian churches even prior to becoming, a, you know, while some of two thirds of you won't, you know, you'll fall out of a Christian church and you'll, you'll just be an atheist.